Hi, it's Harriet from Crown Home Buying and Letting and today we're here at the London Dock development taking a look at not one but two apartments. So the development itself is set just a mile from the city of London and it's behind St Catherine's Dock, a really calm and tranquil area with great coffee shops, restaurants as well as shops. Now what this development does is it allows you to have this beautiful community-like living all within the central London postcode. So here you really do get the best of both worlds. So the London Dock development itself is set within 7.5 acres of mixture of commercial and residential space as well as beautiful landscape gardens that really help create this stunning community feel for the home. The building we're going to be having a look at today is called Admiralty House and it was built by Patel Taylor Architects. Now this building, just behind me, is simple and elegant and is a structure that the London Dock development really centres around. Residents of the London Dock development benefit from a 24-hour concierge. They also have a gym, a swimming pool, a spa, a cinema and a golf simulator. You have everything on your doorstep and here is really about the ease of living and high-end luxury lifestyle. So the first apartment I'm going to be showing you today is two bedrooms, two bathrooms. It has one balcony. It's on the seventh floor and it's 992 square feet. Your listing price is 1.28 million pounds. The second apartment we're going to be having a look at is two bedrooms, two bathrooms. This one has two balconies. It's 996 square feet. It's on the seventh floor and the listing price is 1.25 million pounds. So make sure to let us know which apartment you prefer in the comments down below. Okay, let's go check them out. are inside the first of our apartments. So when you first come in, on my left there is a utility cupboard, you've got your family bathroom and straight ahead is your second bedroom. Then just here on the right we've got a lovely little console table so you can pop your keys there when you first come in. And down this long corridor what we have right behind you is your main bedroom but through this way is your open plan kitchen living space. So this living space is a rectangle and we have sectioned it into three sections. So we have the living area here where we have a three-seater sofa and two armchairs. There's also enough room to put a nice large media unit and on the other side we also have a console table. Then we have the dining area just next to you and behind you is the kitchen. The furnishings aren't with the listing price. However, we have worked with our interior designer Degmara at Hexadot. Degmara has done an incredible job of really showcasing exactly the full potential of each space. So we've got this beautiful mixture of curved textures and colors as well to really brighten up the room. Now this is a good thing to be able to compare later on as the interiors in our second apartment are slightly different. So make sure you let us know what you think in the comments below. Okay, heading outside. So something that I particularly love about this apartment are the stunning floor to ceiling windows that wrap around half of the room. This just makes the room so bright, feels so spacious and we're here in the morning. So that just gives you a nice idea of the kind of morning light that you get when you first wake up. So we have five panels which actually open up onto your balcony. So let's go have a look. 
So this balcony is a triangular shape. So Connor, you're on one side and I'm all the way on the other. So that just gives you an idea for the size. Plenty of space here, as you can see, to add some nice furnishings, or if you also wanted to add a sun lounger. And we have this cantilever, which means that come rain or shine, you will always be covered up. Now, let me tell you about where this apartment actually lies. So obviously we're in the London Dock development, and down on this side is actually the London Dock Square. So it's all pedestrianised and you don't get any through traffic. And round on this side, we just have a quiet side road. So again, you're not getting all of that noisy traffic sound. And never forgetting that all important city view, if you ever forget just how close you really are. So coming back inside, we have our dining area. So we've got a nice round table that seats up to four people. And further around on this side, it's worth mentioning by this window that there's actually a plug socket down here. So if you did want to add a desk in, there'd definitely be plenty of space to pop that here. Moving around into your kitchen. The interior architects of Admiralty House are 1508 interiors and they really wanted to complement that simple elegance that the exterior architects have done so nicely and that is really shown I think in the kitchen designs in particular. We have light grey composite stone worktops which are obviously very easy to maintain, durable and keep clean. That's complemented with our light grey cabinetry, very sleek and modern. And we also have this lovely recessed handles in. So everything is just finished beautifully. In our kitchen, all our appliances are Siemens. So we have our wine fridge, induction hob with extractor hood above, our Siemens dishwasher. We have our stainless steel one and a half bowl sink. We also have our Siemens microwave and oven and never forgetting your full height fridge and freezer. So there's all the appliances that you will need plus lots of additional cupboard space so that you can really cook up a good storm. Now I want to talk about the shape of this kitchen in particular. So we have our breakfast bar on this side and as you can see it is a U shape. It's nice and open to the rest of the living space, but it's also more close off this way if you wanted to just have some people sat here having a glass of wine or a cup of coffee. This kitchen shape is slightly different to the other apartments, so make sure to stay tuned to check that out. Moving now into the main bedroom, so we have this engineered wood flooring throughout the living space of the apartment. And then in the bedrooms, we have this light gray soft carpet. So it's lovely, calm, relaxing and tranquil. Now our main bedroom is located just next to the living space. So really easy. If there's just one of you or a couple living in the apartment, then really you're gonna spend a lot of time down this end of the apartment. In here, we have our floor to ceiling built in wardrobes with LED strip lighting and clothes wrap. In here, we've added a king size bed with two bedside tables. So that gives you a nice idea of the size that we have. And there's obviously enough room for a console table as well or you could add a desk in here too. Light, bright walls and this nice spotlighting up above, as well as your floor to ceiling window, make this room so relaxing and tranquil. Okay, coming in now to your ensuite bathroom. So in here, we have a walk-in shower with rain effect shower head, handheld shower, and obviously your controls are on the other side. We also have a heated towel rail, so you can just grab your nice warm towel when you first get out of the shower. They have really created that relaxing feel that you get when you first enter into a spa. So we also have our LED strip lighting just behind the mirror. And what this does is it adds a nice sense of depth to the space. And we have some open shelving units with a lovely little spotlighting just to highlight that as well as our closed shelving units too. And I like that this is hidden. I think you wouldn't necessarily think that was there. So I like that it's nice and tucked away. In both the bathrooms, we have underfloor heating. And then throughout the apartment, we also have comfort cooling. 
Right, down this corridor, I'm now going to take you into the second bedroom, which we have dressed as a study. So this gives you an idea of the versatility of this space in particular. It works really well as a study as it is just by the entrance door. So as I mentioned when we were in the main bedroom, you can live down that end and work down this end if you need it. Also, if you're having clients over, they can come straight in and you have a family bathroom just next door, which I'll show you in a second. Again, we have lovely floor to ceiling windows and your comfort cooling in here too. Now, if you did want to dress this as a bedroom, your bed would go on this side and then there's plenty of space on the other end as well if you wanted to add an extra wardrobe or chest of drawers. Okay, finally, I'm gonna show you your family bathroom. So that is just next to the bedroom. Very similar spec in this bathroom to the other bathroom as well, but this time we have a nice large sunken bath, which I love open shelving shampoo niche, as well as your open shelving next to the sink. We also have our hidden storage on this side too, so plenty of space to put all your belongings. Now the final thing I'm going to show you is when you first come in, you obviously have a touch console. So this is a smart home and I think that it's a really good modern touch to the space. Right, what did you think of this apartment then? Well, now we're going to go and have a look at another apartment same floor, slightly different aspects and different layout. And I want you to let me know what you think of this one in the comments below. So stay tuned. So now we're inside our second apartment. So again, when you first come in, very similar layout. We have our utility cupboard with console table on the right, but this time your sleeping quarters are to the right, and this is also where your bathrooms are, and through here is your open plan kitchen and living space. So it just really depends on what you want, if you would want your sleeping area next to your living room or down the other end of the corridor. Okay, so here we are. It is your living space. We've separated this room again into three sections so we have your living room dining area and then kitchen this room is a lot more square and so the feel that it gives is slightly different as well however we obviously still have enough space to put three seater sofa two armchairs and again we have our console table if you did want to put a desk as we mentioned in the other apartment that could fit over here as there are plug sockets too Okay, so our floor to ceiling windows are a little bit more interspersed in this room and that helps break it up into a few more different sections. Round on this side we have our dining table, seats four and it's nice and circular so that complements this kind of more square feel that we have throughout the apartment. Now, as we've got this more broken window structure, what we have then is our access onto our balcony is through this singular door. So this is the first balcony for this apartment. Now, yes, it is a little bit smaller than the balcony in the other apartment that we were just in. However, here you do get two and your aspect is slightly different. So this apartment is east aspect and all it looks over is that nice residential courtyard that I was talking about earlier. So you don't get any through traffic here at all. It's just pedestrians and the occasional bike. And you also get a nice view of the Gorging Square. So in the summer and when the fountains are up, it's a really lovely place to sit and enjoy. Here we also have your cantilever, so come rain or shine, you've got that cover as well. So coming back inside and now into your kitchen. So this kitchen runs all along the back wall and you have probably noticed it is completely different shape to the kitchen we've just been in. This kitchen has a nice long and wide island. So lots of space to prepare your food as well. And the difference between this and the breakfast bar in the other apartment as well is we don't have your Siemens induction hob here. That is on the back. So this does give you slightly extra counter space as well if cooking is your thing then maybe this apartment could be better for you also the layout of it as it is completely open and facing outwards this potentially could be very good for hosting and entertaining 
All our appliances, we have our Siemens induction hob with obviously our extractor hood above. We have our wine fridge, one and a half stainless steel bowl sink. Then we have our Siemens dishwasher, microwave oven, and of course our full height fridge and freezer. There's lots of storage space in here as well. And we have still that composite stone worktop and splashback. So very easy to maintain and keep clean. Okay, now let me take you down the corridor and I'm going to show you first of all the second bedroom. Now in here, this is down this end and this is behind your kitchen. As you can see, we've dressed this as a bedroom, but it would also make a great office space. So we have that lovely engineered wooden flooring throughout the living space and in the bedrooms we have this light grey carpeting nice cozy feel double bed with two bedside tables just gives you an idea of the size of the room and there's enough space if you wanted to put a wardrobe here too so just opposite your second bedroom is your family bathroom and again this is very similar spec to what we had in the other apartment in here we have a nice bath and i particularly like this led strip lighting that they've put underneath that plus your nipple finishes Again, we get this beautiful spa-like feel that the interior architects really wanted to showcase. And obviously our LED strip lighting around the back of the mirror gives it that lovely sense of depth. Right, finally, I'm going to show you into the main bedroom. So this is at the top of your corridor and it's a really great size. So in here we have a king size bed, two bedside tables, and for those savvy viewers, you may have already noticed that your floor to ceiling window is actually your access straight out onto your second balcony. So this balcony is very similar size to our first balcony, but the only difference really is that you don't have your cantilever. However, your view is still exactly the same. So you've got that nice residential square view as well. Just picture when all the fountains are going off in the evening, it's so beautiful. And we're here at about 10 o'clock. So that gives you a nice idea of the type of light that you get in here. If you're a sunbather, then this is your sunbathing spot. Right, a couple more things I want to show you inside. So in here along the back wall, there are plug sockets. So if you did want to put a television, then you could pop that on this side. And the benefit of this room compared to the second bedroom is we also have our floor to ceiling built in wardrobe space. So we've got our LED strip lighting as well as chest of drawers and clothes rail. And this is a double wardrobe, so lots of space to pop your clothes. Finally, let me show you into the ensuite. So this is very similar spec to the other bathroom that we have, apart from in here, we have a walk-in shower, rain effect shower head, and handheld shower as well. I like how your temperature controls are just before you get in as well, so you can make sure the temperature is perfect before you have your shower. Then we also have our shampoo niche, and on this side, we have our towel rails that have a heated wall mat as well to make sure that your towels stay nice and warm. Now in both the bathrooms we have underfloor heating and throughout the apartment we have comfort cooling. Okay now you have seen both the apartments you've had a look at what they're both like and of course they all get those benefits so do make sure to let us know what you think in the comments below which apartment would you most likely to buy make sure to tell us now we are the listing agent for both these apartments, so if you would like to view them, make sure to get in touch and we would love to be able to show you around. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.